My name is Anne, and I am asking a question about Title IX. Now, it's my impression that Title IX is a federal title that's supposed to help protect females and women and, and such, but I want to know about our female athletes. How are we going to protect them? Too many of them are being oh. injured yes. by playing on fields with um, biological males. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, it, it's interesting, and you know, we're we're forced now to talk common sense as is is weird and strange. Um, you know, I have to be, have been blessed to uh, been have been raised in that era where we brought Title IX in. Uh, before Title IX, young ladies didn't have the opportunity to play basketball and softball and and try. They they just didn't. They they were cheerleaders uh, or, or, or drill you know drill team. We now have an opportunity that our young ladies can do this, have the same advantages of athletics like I did. Find yourself, learn tenacity, learn how to build character, all those things that make our country really great. And they should be in their, in, in their lane to do that without men coming in and boys messing it up. I think there's two problems we're having here. Number one, the disrespect we have for women and girls. This is a space that they should be able to compete in, uh, thrive in, without having to go up against a guy that is that that is already this is going to be strong no matter what. The other side is what are we doing to young men? What are we what are we telling them that they can really be little girls that really want to, and that they will be respected for that? We need to teach and teach our young men to be men, uh, to be strong, to compete against those that are like that that are the same gender, and whether you win or lose, you're going to still you're winning if you're competing if you if you if you do it fairly. Now, I'm just going to make that point. It doesn't matter what the score is if you're doing it fairly. You're doing the best you can. You're winning, and and to, for us to to start cheating and letting these boys and men compete in an arena where it's not fair at all, uh, it is uh, it is it is a detriment to our culture. That's not who we are. So let's get back to respecting women the way I was raised uh, uh, when I was growing up, and and young men. Let's go ahead and, and compete against other boys and men. Do your thing. Uh, uh, don't uh, don't whine because you're losing. Man up and do your best, and 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 I think everybody wins that card. So and I'll, I'll say this: that that uh, sector that's trying to push that is losing. Americans are waking up and saying, no, "We're not going to deal with that." I would just hope that we have more dads. Uh, dads, uh, I I I don't know. These guys are seeing silent. I don't know what's going on here. If you have daughters, you should be the first. I have five girls, and I would have been the very first to get out there and protect my girls and stand up for my girls. I I don't get the silence we're getting from a lot of men who sit back and say this is okay. Uh, when when your, your, your young ladies are being taken advantage of. So let, let's start standing up for our ladies uh, to make sure they have the same opportunities to go out and prosper, grow, become leaders, um, and, and uh, like anybody else who, who, who enters, enters the game. So we're winning the battle because we all recognize this makes no sense. It's, it's no common sense whatsoever, and we're going to get back to fairness in, in a big way. Thanks, Ann. Thanks for that question.